We will talk about the second core coaching competency. The coach embodies a coaching mindset. That means the coach is open, curious, flexible and client-centric. Client-centric might mean different things. That's for sure we want our clients to get the best coaching from us. But that doesn't mean that we do things for them. That doesn't mean that we will take actions for them. We will learn for them. They will do it. The first point of embodying a coaching mindset is the coach acknowledges that the client has the responsibility for their choices. That usually comes into play when the clients decide to take action till their next meeting. And occasionally they don't. Here the coach inquires what has happened. A good coach inquires and asks, what has happened? What did you learn from it? Not in line with good coaching is to get worried, to be angry at the coachee that they didn't do what they promised, or to feel bad about ourselves as coaches that we don't do our own business well. It's the choice of our coachee. The coachee has the responsibility. Yes, the coachee has responsibility, but the coach has also a responsibility, which is making sure that they have the best training and they can be the best support. For that, the coaches invest in their continuous learning and development. By choosing to join in an accredited coach training, you are investing in yourself. An ICF coach also signs under the code of ethics which says that the coach commits to their continuous development. That's why there are continuous coaching education units that we are required to collect when we want to renew our credentials as coaches. Continuous learning and growth is part of a coach's journey. We don't only learn we also reflect on what we learn. A coach develops and maintains a reflection practice. In the training, you will be filling out your coaching development journals, which will be your reflective practice. That is part of having a coaching mindset. They say we don't learn from experience, we learn from reflecting on our experience. As coaches, we are humans and we come from certain cultures and we operate in certain systems. That means we might be making some assumptions. It's the same for our coaches. Our coaches operate and come from different cultures and they operate in different systems and contexts. Having this mindset, the coaching mindset, we stay open to the influence of context and culture on ourselves and on others. And we inquire and we challenge and we ask questions, knowing that there might be certain assumptions. An important asset of a coach is coaches own awareness of themselves and also coach's intuition. And the coach develops this awareness and uses this awareness to benefit the client. Usually in coaching conversation, we feel there is something deeper. We, we feel it connects somehow or it doesn't connect and we share this reflection with our coachee, which adds another layer of awareness that the coachee themselves were maybe not aware of. So our mindset is that we know we have a certain awareness and we have intuition that might benefit our clients. In coaching, we work with the full being of a client. The thoughts are welcome. 
The emotions are welcome and they are wanted. The thing is, as we are also humans, we can also be touched by our emotions. But what we do with our training and with our coaching mindset is that we can regulate our own emotions. What helps us to regulate our emotions is the practice that we are doing as being trained as coaches. But at the same time, we prepare ourselves before each session to be in a calm state, in our most effective state. We prepare ourselves mentally and emotionally for our sessions. As we are again humans, we are not perfect and we will always have a place of development and learning. And sometimes when we don't know the answers or we have a doubt that we don't know how to navigate or if it's the right thing, we reach out for help. We reach out to our supervisors, we reach out to our mentors, we reach out to our peer coaches and we ask for help. That is the embodying, the coaching mindset. I hope that you are feeling that you are getting into this mindset and you will be by keeping on practicing, watching these videos and putting everything into action.